Let's take a look at another example from a standard normal distribution. Here's distribution for z. It's got a mean value of 0. And let's say we want to know what's the probability that z is greater than negative 2.15. Okay? Negative 2.15, that would be over here somewhere to the left of 0. And we want the probability that z is greater than that. Greater than negative 2.15. Okay, so how are we going to find this area? Well, we know that this is a symmetric distribution, and we know this, that between 0 and 2.15 is equal to the area between 0 and negative 2.15. Okay, that's a negative. Okay? Those two areas are equivalent to each other. They're not in how I drew them, but promise, I promise these are equivalent areas. Okay? So if we find the area between 0 and 2.15, that's the same as the area between 0 and negative 2.15. Okay? So we need to find this area, and we know that this area above 0 is 0.5. So let's look up this area right here that will be equivalent to this. Okay? So if we go look this up in the ZLOOKUP table, we go down to row 2.1 over to column 0.05, and that area is uh, 0 0.4842. Okay? That area right there between 0 and 2.15, or between 0 and negative 2.15, is 4 0.4842. Okay? Again, this area, 0.4842. Okay, this area, 0.5. So the probability that z is greater than negative 2.15 is 0.5 plus 0.4842, which is 0.9842. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say we want to know for this z distribution, what's the probability that z is between negative 2.34 and 1.76. Okay? What's the probability that z is greater than negative 2.34 and less than 1.76? Okay? So this is the area that we want right here. Okay? So how do we do this? First we know, well there's zero. First we know that if we look up this probability right here, and this probability right here, and add those two together, we'll get that entire probability. Okay? So let's do that. We know that this area right here is equivalent to the area between 0 and 2.34. Okay? It's a symmetric distribution, just like what we did over here. This area is the same as this area. Okay? And we need to find this area here between 0 and 1.76. Okay, so if, if we find this and we find this, we get that whole area there. Okay, so we go to our lookup table, down to row 2.3, over to column 0.04. We should get that this number is 0 0.4904. Okay, if we look up this area, we should get that this is 0 0.4608. So the probability that z is between negative 2.34 and 1.76 is 0 0.4904 plus 0 0.4608. Okay? If we sum those two numbers, we should get 0 0.9512. Okay? The probability that z lies between negative 2.34 and 1.76 is 0.9512. 95% of the realizations of this random variable lie between these two numbers. Okay? Let's just say we wanted to know what's this area out here and this area out here. How could we do something like that? We know that the entire area under the curve is 1. And if we have this area in between, if we take the complement of this area, it's everything else, okay? And the complement of this area is these two tails. So the complement of this would give us this area plus this area. 